What's going on guys? Cody Sperber, the Clever Investor here. Hey, listen, I just got done with a uh, morning workout and I was sitting here thinking, the whole time I was working out, I, I was thinking of this internal conversation in my head that I think I wanna share with you guys. Uh, as an entrepreneur, as a real estate investor, as somebody who wants to just dominate my goals and go further faster. <laughs> I'm just gonna dive right in because I know your time's valuable. I'm just gonna dive right in. So I want you to think about something. As you're going through your day and you're creating those success habits or you're working hard on your business or on your real estate investments, how are you thinking? What is the rules of the game that you're abiding by? I want you to think about something. There are some people out there, there's some entrepreneurs or real estate investors or friends that you have and you look at them and you're like god this person is doing a lot of stuff you know they're they got hobbies they're balancing family they're uh you know working on uh you know an old mustang on the weekends and restoring the car they are playing softball with their friends they got all kinds of things that they're doing and you look at them and you realize that those people while they're going through life, they've really never accomplished any super massive level of success because they're doing too much. They're, they're trying to master too many things at one time. And the reality is people that play the game at the highest level, they really only do one, maybe two things extremely well. And that's why you know of them. You know, when uh, reporters ask Kobe Bryant what it is he does, the only way he responded is, I put up the numbers. And that's it. They put he put in the numbers. He got the triple doubles. He did the three point. You know, he got more three point shots than anybody else. He just scores. That's what he does all day, every day. And when he went into the gym, that's all he practiced, how to score. And I want you to think about that because there's some people out there that float through life effortlessly. And since they were a little kid, they've had things handed to them. They've been given every opportunity, they've been hoisted up on people's shoulders, they've been patted on the back, everybody told them from the time they were little that they're gonna accomplish big things. And, you know, those type of people, they might achieve a little bit of success. They get the job, they make the sale, they make the team, they do whatever it is that, that to them is successful. They start making a little bit of money but unfortunately for people that have had things handed to them, that's normally the moment in their life where they stop evolving, they sit there too long, they celebrate too long, and they stop evolving. And that's the moment they start dying. And the reason that is, is because there's somebody else out there. Somebody that didn't have everything handed to them. Somebody that is only laser focused on one single thing. Somebody that puts in the work consistently every single day and they've been sidelined, bullied, pushed around, beat up and they drew that line in the sand and they're pissed off and they wake up every second of every day and they look at that person and they put a giant target on that person and they say to themselves, I will stop at nothing to destroy that <laughs> They want it so bad, their ambition and drive is so strong it's part of their DNA. They go to the gym and they work on scoring and that's the only thing they focus on. And they look at those people that have had things handed to them and they say, that's my competition. I will do whatever it takes to dominate them. I wanna control them. I wanna push them around. I own this. And that's their spirit. They look in the mirror and they say to themselves, I own this. That's a relentless spirit. That's that uncontrolled ambition. That's that personality that's unstoppable. So when you look at those people that are doing a lot, that might have a lot going on, don't get confused or buy into the that they're winning the game because they're not. They're doing too much. They're not playing the game to win. They're not playing the game to be legendary. They're really not even in the game. But if you're sitting there right now and you want more, and you're sick and tired 
of watching other people win, draw that line in the sand, get pissed off, and go after your competition with a ruthless spirit. I own this. I own this. I'm not playing by their rules, they're playing by mine. I'm not worried about their thoughts, their feelings, their opinions. I'm gonna force everybody else around me to step up to my standards. I own this. Think about that. There's some people that are willing to put in the work and there's some people that aren't. I would sit down and make a list. What are the things I'm willing to sacrifice to have it all? Friends, relationships, money, ego, free time? Am I willing to give up sports? Am I willing to give up TV? Because if you're not willing to give those things up and you value those things more than your future, your goals, then quit playing the game. Get out of the way. Because there's somebody in there with a killer f***ing instinct that is willing to give it all up. That's willing to go to the gym seven days a week, rain or shine, in pain, feeling like food poisoned, angry, their, their, their friends are pissed off, their significant others pissed off, and they don't give a because they show up and they work on putting up the points. Mm. Mm -hmm. That person is unstoppable, you know that. You are unstoppable if you act that way. The whole time I was running today, I just kept saying to myself over and over and over, I own this. It's a powerful thought. The reality is, what is that? 10% of the population? 90% of people aren't willing to go there? They're not willing to put themselves out there like that. It's too scary. There's too much judgment. There's too much fear of failure or fear of success. What if you lived your whole life? You lived your whole life and you woke up one day and you're old and you're looking in the mirror and your skin is wrinkly your hair is gray if you even still have some. Your muscles are fatigued. The energy is now gone. Your time has passed. It's somebody else's time now. Your time has passed. There's no going back. Are you going to look in the mirror and say, I f***ing own this? Are you going to look in the mirror with a massive amount of regret and say to yourself, I wish I woulda, I wish I coulda? This COVID thing has really brought a spotlight on people's attitudes and energy. I'm seeing it happen all over the place right now. Apathy has taken hold of so many people. They sit around and they watch Netflix and they f and they're not putting in the work and they've lowered their standards and they're chilling like a villain. I don't get it. I don't get it. Greatest opportunity in human history. <laughs> Greatest opportunity. Greatest opportunity. I'm gonna say that again. Greatest opportunity. <laughs> That's how I think. Greatest opportunity. Don't waste it. This is your reminder, I guess. You know, maybe, maybe I'm speaking to the choir and you're already that person. This is your reminder step your game up today, set that new standard, and get that killer instinct to come out and just look forward with that relentless spirit, that underdog spirit, and say, I own this. I don't want to leave you motivated. I want to leave you inspired. I want you to get off of this video, and I want you to go put in the work, and I want you to start to play full out and be the person that you know you can be. Not the person you were 20 minutes ago. Be the person when you close your eyes and you visualize your future. Be that person. Be that killer.
That's what I want for you. Go out there and do it. Smash the like button. Drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. That's all I have in this one. I'm Cody Sperber, the Clever Investor, signing off for now. You own this. Till next time. Take care, comb your hair. I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.